Okay, so we're going to talk about sending out free copies of your book and who the best people are to send them to. So there's a video, and I may put it in the uh, course, I'm not sure yet, but there's a video where I did a case study on Karen Malone, and I really took and decided who she should be giving books to. And we basically did a, a circle or a triangle around her location that she is in Minnesota. And she's actually used this to make $1,000 in the last couple of weeks off of just handing out a couple of books. So I don't know about you, but I'd really like to have an extra thousand dollars in my pocket right now. So it's a really good method. It, she's proven that it works. If it can work for her, then it can work for you. Uh, I think that's one of the misnomers that people have is that this won't work in my area. And I think there's people like Paul Goff and Greg Todd uh, who have proven to people that yes, this work, this stuff works anywhere. So same thing with these books. So I want to just go through some of this. I, don't, I got the list here because I don't want to leave it out. Um, Give it out to your patients first and foremost. If you're, a physical, if you're a healthcare provider and you're doing this to increase your authority and your expertise, then by all means, give out copies to your patients. When I published my first book, I ordered 100 copies. It cost me about $238 to order these copies and have them shipped to my house. And I gave them to every single patient until I ran out of patients. And so I gave them to current patients. I gave them to former patients. I gave them to business owners. I just, I gave them out to anybody I could. And the, just the response was just amazing. People couldn't believe I had a book. They, you know, they would say, wow, oh, this is your book. That's your face on the book. Oh, this is your material. I can't believe you have a book. I've never gone to anybody that has a book before. So it's really cool. Do it and you can really use it to your advantage. Okay. Uh, the next thing I would do is give it to your colleagues, give it to your coworkers, um, your employees, your employer, if you know your boss, whoever, and just give it to them and say, Hey, here's a book that I just wrote. Um, I'd really like to, you know, maybe we can, if you work in a clinic with multiple therapists, maybe you could talk to uh, whoever runs that clinic and say, Hey, I'd really like to leave this out in the waiting room or give these out to all the new patients. I mean, gosh, how can you build authority? I mean, that's a huge way to do it. Okay. So the next thing would be to businesses. So if you're an entrepreneur or whatever, businesses that are complementary to you. So if you're a physical therapist, uh, if you work well with chiropractors, then a chiropractor can be a complementary business, just as PT can be complementary to them. Don't hate them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just a different profession than you. They, we complement each other in the right ways. So if you're using it in the right ways, both PT and chiropractic, so why not take them your book and say, hey, um, doctor of chiropractor, I wrote this book. I'd love to let you have it. And uh, if it could serve your patients in any way, I'd love to leave, you know, 20 to 50 copies here. Okay. Other businesses locally. So it, it doesn't, so complimentary service could be a chiropractor. So let's just say for a PT, cause that's what I am. Chiropractor, OT, uh, massage therapist, uh, acupuncturist, nursing, social workers, home health companies, um, local gyms, cryotherapy clinics, local weight loss places, really anything, health food stores, any place that your patients might go is a complimentary service. So take those books and offer it to them. Uh, you might even want to sell it in their stores. And we can, we'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, but doctor's offices, you know, I, I put three out in the doctor's office that I'm at and they were gone, you know, somebody got them and, and took them home with them, which is amazing. That's what I wanted to do because my number's in there, my email address. And so they have some questions, you know, hopefully they'll call. Next thing is uh, we've talked about this TV and radio stations, drop them off, mail them, whatever you want to do. Local libraries, you know, you can try, you can get your book in the library and we'll talk about that later. Um, I'm actually going to interview somebody about that uh, pretty soon and I'll put that in here, but go to your local library and say, Hey, can I, um, can I come do a signing here? I'd love to sign my book. I'd love to come speak about my book. I've, I wrote a book about neck pain. Uh, Matt Parker, who I showed you in the author, central video actually did that in California and he had a really good response. He had people come to the signing and, and listen to him talk about his neck pain book or his, his book, uh, local colleges. Don't you understand? Like if you're next to a college, um, there's people that are going to want to be in your profession. Okay. There's so many colleges and universities here where I live in Louisiana within a 50 mile radius. And there's so many within a 20 mile radius of me, but I can go to all those places and say, hey, if you want to be a PT, here's your book about, um, here's a book I wrote about neck pain. This is how you can do it as well. I have a local physical therapy school. I can go do the same thing. Okay. So it's, it's just have to have that abundance and that 
go-getter mindset of it's okay if somebody says no, but let's go ahead and go for this. So there's so many places. Um, give it to your launch team is the last thing I have on here is if you have, have people that have helped you launch your book, and we've talked about that in the earlier module, give them a copy if you can afford it. So I encourage you to order as many copies as you can and give those out to whoever will take it because you never know who's going to book a, a, a session with you or um, come be your patient. Trust me, it works. Karen Malone has proved it. We're going to continue to prove it over and over and over again. So by all means, please hand out your books, okay? Good. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is interviewing people in Facebook groups. 